agents knew about escrow because you know you have some seasoned agents that have been doing this for 20 30 40 years but then you have new agents that are coming right off the boat if you will mm -hmm. so um, what are some things that they should know to make the process better for them their clients but then also on your end as well so i think it's um sometimes communicate a little bit more make mm -hmm. sure that you have us in the loop in a lot of the situations whether it's um you know credits that maybe were applied that maybe we weren't notified about or just um how they open their file to begin when when they once they write an actual offer you know make sure to use your client's real name not their nicknames or um, you know, if you have additional buyers you're thinking about adding, you know, make sure you have them on there. Little things like that. Make their file a little bit cleaner for the purpose of their own client and then also for whoever else picks up that file. So make sure that everything is done, you know, as smoothly as possible from the beginning. I find that if everything is, starts off in a good way, the whole file goes through mm -hmm. nicely. If things is, you know, in little chops and pieces, it just, it's more chance of things getting dropped and less and more chance of people being unhappy too. And that's so true. You know, if you open up strong, then mm -hmm. like you're saying, mm -hmm. it ends strong. Mm -hmm. But you, when you send a, because, you know, w as agents, we always think, well, my file is the most important. So of course, mm -hmm. they're just paying attention to that. But they don't realize that you have dozens of emails coming mm -hmm. at you per hour mm -hmm. from multiple agents and yeah. stuff like that. So to kind of keep that thread going mm -hmm. is important. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I found early on was anytime, like you're saying, open up the escrow with all the detailed information mm -hmm. up front, mm -hmm. load you up with information on the front end, right. and then it goes smoother. Right. right. Yeah. But she's a workhorse, and she's there until the job is done. Yeah. And I, I'm the same way. My boys are always like, Mom, why are you at work late? Well, because I wasn't done yet. Mm -hmm. When is the day over? It's over when it's done. Yeah. It's not 5 o'clock, 6, 7, 8. Mm -hmm. It's when you're all done. And that's been the – I so respect you for that. Oh. Thank you. I'm so <laughs> thankful. And then I see her come in earlier and beat me in in the morning, which is pretty much every morning. <laughs> and, <laughs> and but that it is a whole different culture from the real estate side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those girls sit and eat at their desk, mm -hmm. you know, and they're answering the phones and working through and mm -hmm. doing signings and handling problems like all day. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really don't know how you do it. Yeah. I don't. Sometimes I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> you a glutton for punishment? Uh, totally. Yeah. Totally. Like you said, it is definitely a certain personality that handles it. And once you're in it, it's very hard sometimes to describe what we do because if you describe the actual items that we process, it seems so simple. But when you kind of put it all together and mesh it, you could see how, you know, kind of complicated it could be at times Absolutely. to make sure that everything kind of gels together. So probably the funnest thing was, you know, escrow is a th third party and they're a neutral party. Mm -hmm. And um, for years I wouldn't do escrow because I felt like a broker owned escrow could not be neutral. And that was one of my biggest concerns interviewing escrow officers is I, ne I need to know that this is going to be neutral. I don't want to do this wrong. And she is really good at problem solving and remaining 100 percent neutral mm -hmm. and that's the way it should be yeah you know uh, yeah i mean it's super important not only for us as escrow but for you as the broker that yeah. we do things the right way if we do things wrong we're hurting everybody yeah so and, and we're not we're not helping anyone to do things the wrong way um i've been doing this way too long to get in trouble for one little thing it there's always the right way to do something it might take a little bit longer to get there but there's always the way to do something you don't have to cut corners to get it done interesting 